this is an endless mode, but it is an easier endless mode because I'm tired of getting absolutely stomped into the ground by these AI peasants. I didn't survive the first day. This game's hard. These stupid crackhead idiots are really getting on my nerves. I feel like I'm, I'm real close to like a perfect setup and I think it's two lumber mills, one fishing hut and one builder's hut. All right, so in the first day, ooh, get out of here, counselor. In the first day, we managed two lumber mills and then a whole row of houses. We have a large plot of uh, open space down here and then a whole bunch of walls up here. So I'm hoping we do get some angry delinquent peasants that we can kind of keep them at bay. So we're gonna go all in on the wood and the stone production after this next one because we got to upgrade our town hall as soon as possible for maximum efficiency. So to mitigate the trees, this is what we're going to do. We are going to place stockpiles and granaries. Is that how you say that? Gra granary? Granary. We're going to place a granary near the food so they don't have to walk all the way to the town hall and then back. Oh, also research. That helps a lot. I feel like you, you should be doing research as soon as possible. That is Town Hall 2 on day 4. What that allows us to do is put farms down, upgrade our lumber mills, and our stone quarries. So I think that's going to be the main thing. I've had issues with wood in the past, and when you upgrade to a higher lumber mill, you actually get more wood per tree. So if you look here, lumber mill 1, you get 6 wood from trees, and lumber mill 2, you get 8. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but over the course of all these trees, when you run out, you really need that extra amount. Also what we need in this game now are iron mines. Luckily, we have, on this map, I don't know how I got so lucky, but we have like all the stone, all of it. We got all the stone we could really ask for here and a lot of iron too which is kind of unusual so once you get some iron mines down you don't want to put too many of them because you start burning your wood supplies and that really gets kind of tricky now we're going to get attacked by the first wave of vikings they're coming up from this way so i would think just going from uh past experience and pretty much every time i've guessed this it's been wrong but i would think because they're up here they're going to come down this side right here but I think I'm just going to do kind of like a wall on both, but we're going to focus here. Also, if you are new to this game, make sure you place your castle gates with the correct orientation. There's a door on one side, and if you put them backwards, it tends to allow the enemies to kind of pull up in the, uh, on the underside of them. Another good idea is a little bit before the wave, put your catapult on this tower because they're going to be horrible and shoot whatever is near them. He's probably going to shoot anything in sight yep there it is so those guys are then going to run over because they're mad at you <laughs> bad news for everybody involved now is right so they're coming down both ways i think but it looks it almost looks like they're coming more this way unfortunately so i was wrong yet again yep there they are nice our catapult can still hit them though nice see these crackhead idiot peasants they are stupid and will attack things that don't matter when there's a hole in the wall right next to them that was the first wave on this difficulty it's really not that bad all right so new plan outward expansion into this area we haven't really taken the offensive to any of these peasants but i think that time is going to come shortly storage is full uh you have plenty of space uh whatever Need more storage. Let's see if we can do the engineering guild. That will get us siege machines, and the stables will get us... That's a big building. Holy crap. The stables will get us horses. So I think we have to take on these guys so I can take their iron, because it's rightfully mine. It's not yours. That doesn't belong to you. You weren't here first. There we go deliver these guys some some freedom i offer you freedom and in exchange you give me your natural resources for this is a manifest destiny and i am america all right so to upgrade our town hall to three we need a hundred iron we're almost there so i think once i hit that i'm going to stop the iron production so that way i don't run out of wood whoa that's a lot more of them than i thought dang um man they're tearing it up they're angry I couldn't imagine why. Deliver these guys some, some freedom. Oh, and we're getting attacked from this side too. 
glad I took them out. I think we just do a corner. They should be stupid enough not to not to realize we can just go around. Another important thing in this game is a cemetery grave digger. See these people, these tiny little stinky people laying face down in the dirt will in fact turn into zombies at some point. So gotta make sure to take care of your zombie problem before your zombie problem takes care of you. <laughs> Hoping three catapults and some archers are going to be enough. Oh, here they come. Oh, they're coming over that way. Maybe I should build some more wall. Now, I know I said the waves aren't as, like, dangerous in this game mode, but they will continually ramp up. So that's still something to be worried about. Wow, I did not expect them to come all the way over here. See, what happens, I think, is sometimes they bunch up and then they just push the other troops aside. I'm starting to get out of range, so I think I gotta take these guys up on top of the gate. That way they shoot. See, they're kinda dumb. They look the other way and shoot. Why? Who are you shooting? Oh, is there a guy on the inside that they're attacking? Cause they're dumb? How did you get in? There we go. Now they can attack the real people. Oh, and I can upgrade my town hall. Nice. That's going to be huge, because after this upgrade, you can build foresters, and you can have unlimited trees, and unlimited stone. And I also have 140 people. Holy crap. Oh, and I need a cemetery person. Is that what's happening? Is there zombies? There are. Whoops. Whoops. Run, catapults. Run. The zombies are going to get you. Look at those little guys. Oh! Oh! Thank you, crossbow people. Aha! Town Hall 3 on day 17, I think, is the fastest I've ever been able to do it. Alright, so farms... Stop, rooster, please. Uh, farms and granuries first, because if our people are not fed, they cannot work. And work is the most important thing. Next, so now that we have Town Hall 3, we got this cool thing called a forester's cabin, and it allows us to grow trees. Who went out and died? You're dumb. Don't be a hero. So let us build a bigger tower that is not in the corner at all. That's going to drive me up a freaking wall. Now they're all coming straight for the corner this time, but I got a lot of catapults, luckily. Oh, what are you guys doing? Holy crap. Get on the wall, you maniac. He just barely escaped with his life. The corner wall almost got it. And now we also have the workshop. Yes. 20% bonus resource extraction and processing speed for buildings in the area nearby the workshop. Super cool. See so yeah, how these guys work. So the healers should heal them up. They do have some big boys. You're going to get it though. Tell you what. There we go. Let's see what we got over here. So we know there's some badness. Going up that way. Some badness going up that way too. So we're probably going to have to set up a wall with uh, some protection to guard against these guys. And that'd be that. I think that is the most efficient wood setup you can have. I'm not sure though. Could be a better way. But for now, that's what I'm rocking with. I also think it is time that we expand this a little bit. I think I want to go from this rock to this pond. All right, so there is a camp here, but I think our I think our people can take care of this camp alone. I hope. Uh, we also need the university. I forgot about that. The university allows us to get infinite resources. So that unlocks like infinite stone mines and infinite iron mines. And we actually have one of those right here, the iron ore fields. I already got the... The, the start of the wall going. It's going to be these big battlements. And then we're going to stretch them out to this pond. Oh, and the spacing works out. Nice. Love when that happens. And we are also upgrading our Engineer's Guild to level 2 for the Mighty Trebuchet. Thing is wicked. Oh, we're going to attach from the complete opposite direction. Alright, these little guys. These little guys work their tails off. And at any game I've ever played, the builders in this game are super... Superior. I hate these people. Look, they always enclose the thing that you're trying to build with the other stuff. Like, there's no priority here. They just hammer away and keep going, and then it's just wrong. Can they make it onto this one? I don't know. I'm not sure. See how the Treb does. 
Boom! Dude, nice. First look at the trebuchet, and it is demolishing. They don't stand a chance. There's a little tiny area where they can't shoot because of the minimum distance. So you gotta make sure you space them out good enough. But I think we got it. For sure. Nice. Got it taken care of. So now we can start building the walls. But first, if we want to build walls, we got to get some stone. And unfortunately, all of our stone deposits are drying up. Luckily, this university has allowed us to get the eternal stone source. And we actually have one right inside of our walls. So, stone works right there. Nice. How did he get inside? How is he in here? I don't understand that at all. You two. What are you doing? Go get him. Nice. Where are we getting attacked from? This corner again. Nice. That is where I have everything stationed already. Put this treb there. And then keep on building this right on over. Oh, we attracted the catapults and crushed them. Nice. You know, you think, one would think this guy would get spilled on with hot lava. Or a giant rock to his face. <laughs> nice. Alright, where are they coming from? Which way? Are they going to split the rock? Nope, they're going to come from this way. See how close they make it. Now, I do have an open wall, so I'm hoping they don't go that far. Or we can take them out. There's definitely a lot more people than last time. Wow, so they're actually going to go for that hole in the wall. Luckily, we're taking them out pretty quick. So I don't really think I have anything to be worried about. I do have the meteor now, which is nice. But I don't think I need to use that. There it is. Get them, walls. Nice. All right, I think we can successfully say that this part of the kingdom is very well taken care of. Can these guys get around? That would be the real question. Can they fit? Yes. Cool. That is so much wood. That's what she said. I think I need to build something here. Because if this goes down... Or have a second one of these. If this goes down, it's going to be horrendously down bad for my community you stupid fools they've done it again oh we're getting attacked okay i didn't even realize it really got to pay more attention to that oh god it's happening all these people are going to die <laughs> hmm i think i'm going to use the beams of death the astral rays i'm going to take out this line and hope that this line just keeps going this way all right, three, two, one, go. That was super quick. All right, so they're getting stuck on this rock formation, which is good for me. And these guys are getting pummeled by trebuchet and catapults. You know, all is not lost. So this side looks good. This side needs some love. Just kidding. Love was given. <laughs> Swiftly and uh, without mercy. So we gotta rebuild some stuff. Your route is not blocked, I promise. I assure, I assure you this is not blocked. All right, so we got two main areas to focus on here, he, or three. Here, here, here. I definitely didn't plan this, so, oh, man. I was really hoping it would just work. It doesn't, this needs to be one. Stop, everybody, stop what you're doing. It needs to be one block closer. There we go. Much better. Alright, that is our entire settlement walled off. Like the right way, I think. With battlements and walls, this one's done. So now we just gotta do this one and this one for the tree farm specifically. And we'll be looking in a pretty good spot. This is looking like a pretty grand city. I ain't gonna lie. I think now I'm just gonna have to crank out the trebuchet. And the catapults, and maybe the ballista. Is it ballista or balliste? Because I've heard both, and I don't know which is right. Hopefully these grave tenders pick these people up before they turn into corpses. There we go. I know you're upset, but it's literally your job to pick those people up, you know? Like, don't be mad that you got assigned the grave job. Nobody wants it. Oh my god, they did it again. Wow, these guys are idiots. Oh, you stupid. Stupid idiots. Trebuchet, stop causing problems. For all things holy. I love how they attack the rebar. 
They're like, this ball is not going to go up. It's going to go up. And you guys are going to just throw yourselves at it later. So I feel like I should wait to put the trebs up on the wall until I have the whole wall constructed because they're going to go absolutely off the wall ballistic. And I don't necessarily want that yet. I would like to do another... <laughs> would. I would like to do another one of these somewhere else. So that way if this one goes down, we have a second option. Oh, good thing we did too because we're going to attach from over here this time. Nice. I shut the doors. Definitely shut the doors. Whoa, that's a lot of people. Alright, luckily we do have some pretty strong defense. And this pond is really going to help. It's going to hopefully split up the enemies a good bit. Alright, let's see how our walls hold up. I also want to see how these ballista work. I think they attack, like, singularly, but they also don't have a minimum hit range, which is good. Oh, dang, they got one wall. Okay, good to know. Is there a guy, how do they get inside the gates? That's what I want to know. Maybe I can, maybe we'll do a search. I'm going to train up these knights and then run them out in search of the rift. See if we can find that rift and uh, start making our way to that next episode. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's going to get a little hairy. Just keep going, boys. Uh-oh. Run. We got to take them out at some point. That's a big camp. Oh, there it is. Nice. So that is what we need to go after. I am going to still explore the rest of the map, but that is our goal. That little rift right there. I was really hoping to be a little closer but oh well all right so that is day 51 this is our kingdom and that is the goal for next episode that little tiny crack in the ground because we can build that the alchemical transgressor all right well this has been fun my name is Varus, and i thank you for watching i don't know what the polls are going to be yet but make sure you go vote on it maybe we can name the sections of our city we will ask for some comments about sections. Mm, I don't know. I'll think about it. But anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. See ya.